are going the opposite direction from our destination just to extend the ride. Yep. Because it's fun. Because it's cool. <laughs> That's right, baby. Cool on the brain. We're going to go over the Bridge of Lions today. Beautiful scenery. It is nice. Here's us going down a familiar road. But we like it. So, March, in the beginning, we're going to go to Cackleberry. Right. And probably take a ride downtown Daytona. Yep, that's right. We're going to do the Cackleberry Campground. I was thinking about doing a hotel instead, but... It's not Cackleberry, safe. I like camping anyway. Yeah. So we can pack all of our stuff on here with no problem with two bikes now, so... Yeah, we've done it before. Yeah. And then towards the middle of March, we're going to go to Forgotten Angels Camp Out. That's right. Looking forward to that, too. There'll be a couple of rides involved with that, usually. And then in June, or the middle, end of May... The big trip! We're going to go to Oklahoma! Go see our sun in Stillwater. Yeah, I can't wait. Going to live in an Airbnb. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. Yeah. I can't wait to see a lot of old friends. An extended stay. Yep. Go to Sparks while we're there. Yep, Sparks exactly. Rally. Yeah. So we're going to cover that in a future video. Sparks America. Oklahoma Bike Week. Yep. That's fun anyway. I always had a good time at that. We haven't been to this restaurant in, I want to say, five years. El Patro. I don't know. It's a really good Mexican place. And it's old school, and it's authentic, and I love it down there. And since we moved on this side of town, we just ain't been hitting it as much. Yeah. They got Modelo on draft over there, and I love Modelo. And I know I'm already, I already know what I want. I want a Chilorino. I haven't had one in a little while. They make them good there. Yeah, they're good. Authentic. You see that lighthouse up there? There's the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Okay, this is called Anastasia Island, and it's part of the Intercoastal. Okay, the Alligator Farm is over here somewhere, and the Amphitheater is over here, and of course you can see the lighthouse in front of us. Pretty soon. Another supposed haunted area. The lighthouse, yeah. If we were to go up there, this should be the time of year to go, because it's hotter than hell in the summertime to go up. And of course, there's no elevator. I still haven't been there. You've been there, though, No, right? no, I oh, have you never not. Been there I have not been there. No, they have a night tour, a ghost tour at night. I've seen footage of shadow people and lots and lots of orbs. There's the alligator farm. Alligator farm, there it is. Been there. Been there, it was fun. Yeah, and pretty soon we're gonna go around this corner and the Bridge of Lions will be directly in front of us.
this is San Marco. Up ahead of us is Castillo de San Marco, the old Spanish fort. It was used by the Spanish, of course. I think the British, us. I know it was used for a lot of different things as time went by, yeah. Yeah. I'd have to look that up, because I'm not sure. But I remember hearing several different uh, countries use it. Yeah. As a trolley. Ding, ding! Yeah, no, it was, it's always been a clusterfuck down here, though. You know? I guess the roundup was necessary. You remember how it used to be? It was a light. Two, yeah, but it was two lights. You wait and wait. Look at this guy. Wrong way, asshole. Well, he could have went down there. He probably just didn't know it. road through Old Town. Ooh, the scenic view. Yeah, the scenic view. Isn't that where we stayed? Yeah, yeah. The St. George Inn owns a lot of the rooms that are above these stores. Uh-huh. And there's... Potter's Museum, which is located in the original, the, the, old, the oldest uh, pharmacy, and that's where the spirit Elizabeth resides. Yeah, it's this little back way. Oh, there's the Cheesecake Company. Okay. Now we know. And, you know, I see a lot of things advertised. Moho Barbecue, Old Town. Look at that. I just never knew where they were. Look at these old houses. I'd love to live down here permanently. Parking would be a bitch. But then again, well, if you owned, you'd have your own parking spot. Yeah, your own yeah. spot. Yeah, salt spa. Yeah. Yeah, see, I didn't think there would be that much traffic down here. Not on Thursday. Flagler College, academic building. So part of this has got the college mixed in with it. Right. Maple Street. I've heard of that one, too. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed our ride around St. Augustine with a lunch stop at El Patro. Please like, comment, and subscribe to J&D Motorcycles. Be safe out there and have an outstanding day.